Another quick little program there that we can do is obstacle avoidance. So in this case, perhaps we could get the robot to, because I've got a restricted space, perhaps I could get the robot to stay stationary, but if something comes close to it, I could get it to back off just a tad. Okay, so you can get the rudiments of what you need to do there. All right, so I've just turned the robot on. I'm going to go into make block. I'm going to um, connect. Okay, it's connected. Going to go down and start a new program. And going to go to custom. And I need an icon to start the program. So just going to use the switch and I'm going to change its name to start. Okay, good. Now I'm just going to go and put some code in there. So when you turn the switch on, what do you want it to do? Well, what you want it to do is check the ultrasonic sensor and if it's less than say 10, then you want to go back a little bit. Um, but if it's not less than 10, then just do nothing, just stay still. Okay, so what we're going to do is we need an if do, if then, uh, if do else, same as an if then else um, statement. We will need a repeat forever loop. Okay, in there, and what we'll need to do is we will need an operator, so we'll need a less than, and pop that in there, and we're going to need to read the ultrasonic sensor, so that is detect, and the ultrasonic sensor is on port 3. And we need a integer, so we just need to put, say, 10. Okay, so that's just asking the question, uh, check the ultrasonic sensor on port 3. If it's less than 10, then uh, do the following. So what do we want to do if it's less than 10? We want to back up a tab. So what's back up a tab? So let's go motor run backward at speed. I wouldn't use 100, it's 100 barely moves. Let's make it 170. Now, not very long. So let's say half a second. So move that in there. And instead of, we'll make it 0 0.5 seconds, okay? Otherwise, I want it to stop, okay? And that's it. So, let's see if that's going to work. I'm going to open the claws up. And two ways to start the code. You can either start the code bottom right hand corner there and hit that icon, which I'm going to do. So now it should stay stationary unless, that's it, it's working. So stationary backs up, which is exactly what I told it to do. Okay, great. So that's one way to start the code, let's turn that off. The other way is to top left hand corner and then go from design, out of your design menu into play. And then that starts the code, but then you'll still have to tap the on button there. Okay. So the code's working. All right. So that's it. Okay, so that's the basics of obstacle avoidance. Now just just a little bit of a tip, you need to keep the programs reasonably simple and don't make big programs with lots of different stuff in it because it is running over Bluetooth and um, you don't get particularly high data transfers so you need to keep the, the programs reasonably simple. So don't mix in your reading your sensors and all that sort of stuff in with your actual program. Uh, keep your program small and you, uh, you should be okay. Alright, thank you. Good luck.